Hi TubiTubers, I'm Julie, your animation partner here on the TubiTube channel. Before we start, I want to send special thanks to all the people who have been commenting in my videos. Your support inspires me to keep creating new content. Thank you so much! Alright, let's get started! In the previous video, we reviewed three concepts related to movement and applied them in three very simple exercises. Now, in order to encourage the development of your skills as animators, I want to invite you to do the following exercises. First, apply the three concepts that we saw in the previous video, speed, acceleration, and deceleration. But in the same project, you have to animate three points on the same canvas using a different concept for each one of the points just like in this example. Second, try to animate the three concepts but using different paths in all possible directions. From top to button, from button to top, from left to right, from right to left, and diagonally. And third, try to animate the points following random paths that mix all the paths you practiced on the previous point. Additionally, try to mix the concepts of movement in different segments of the paths. It is important to keep in mind that this type of exercises will help you gain the ability to express movement to any type of character or object that you want in the future. First, we start with a point, but then the challenges will be much bigger and even more complicated. That's why it's important to keep practicing from now on. Now, to finish this section of exercises in which we work with the most basic element, a point, we will do a practice consisting of telling a little story. That's right, we will develop an animation of a few seconds in which our point is going to live in adventure. Animation is generally associated with illustration and the ability to give life and movement to any type of element or character that is within our canvas. However, the task of an animator goes much further, because we are also storytellers and that implies working on developing our creativity. The first step that we must take for this practice is to assign an identity to the point that we will work with. This identity must be associated with a character or an object. I'll give you some references to make this choice easier. A moving point can represent something that is very far away from you. For example, a point can represent a plane crossing the sky, but it could also be a ball that does not stop bouncing off different surfaces. Or it can be an UFO approaching the planet Earth. Moreover, a moving point can represent a fleet or even a person running while being watched from a very, very high place. As you can see, by animating a point, you can simulate a large number of characters or situations. Once you have chosen the identity of your point, it is time to create a short story around your character or object. In my case, my point is going to represent a very young fly called Emily. As part of this creativity exercise, it is important that you start giving characteristics to the protagonist of your animation. It does not matter if it's a character or an object. Try to assign as many characteristics as possible and write them down somewhere so that you don't forget about them. Although our animation exercise is going to be quite short, do not limit yourself in the details of your story. Every detail you add matters. But why is it so important to build such an elaborate story for such a simple exercise? It matters because you are encouraging your creativity. To give you an idea of the task you must do, I will share with you the story I created for my exercise. Emily will be a fly born on the edge of a swamp. She is only a few hours old and when she wakes up for the first time, she finds herself alone. Her parents are nowhere to be seen and she is very curious to discover the world around her. Tired of waiting, sitting on the leaf where she was born, Emily decides to take her first flight. She flaps her wings a little to dry them and takes to the air to fly. As it is her first attempt, it may not turn out as well as she hopes. Now, once you have created your story for this exercise, it is time to open TubiTube and make the animation that simply represents our story. It is important to keep in mind that we won't develop an elaborate project full of visual details. Quite the opposite. Remember that we will just be animating one point. The real challenge of this exercise is to try to give the greatest expressiveness to the movements of our point. In my case, I am going to use a blue background to represent the sky where my character is going to move. 
All that is going to happen with Emily is that she will try to make a small flight and I attempt to represent this by making my point make a curved path through the entire work area. Since Emily is just learning how to fly, she will have a small accident at the end of her flight and that's all. And because we have already done several practices in the previous videos and you are already familiar with the brush panel and the color palette, on this occasion I will only show you the process. It is ready! I have finished my practice! Here is the final result of my exercise! <laughs> to be doers, I must confess that I really did enjoy during this practice and of course I hope you did too! Also, as you may have noticed, animation is an area where you have to have a lot of creativity so it's not just knowing how to draw well or how to create movement, you have to work on your storytelling skills. And also if you do publish some exercises in the tb community, let me know in the comments below because I love going to check out all your exercises and above all, all the stories you have created. If you like this video, give it a like and if you are not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe for more fun content! Tubitoers, stay tuned!